daily sleep. The average class size in Minnesota primary and middle school classrooms are 22 students. That is according to the National Center for Education Statistics, the primary federal identity entity for collecting and analyzing data related to education and the publication for the U.S. Department of Education published in 2018. Larger classroom sizes decrease the amount of one-on-one -on -one learning time that you have with your teacher. It also loses your connection on a personal level. The Zimbroda Mazeppa School Board should limit classroom sizes to 15 to 18 students. First, I will talk about why classroom sizes are too big. Then I will talk about why classroom sizes should be limited. The average classroom sizes are too big for students to learn and make a connection with their teacher. According to Stephanie Burroughs, who has a doctorate in organizational change and leadership from the Un University of Southern California and a journal from Association for Supervision and Curriculum De Development published in 2021, states that in a poll in 2015 showed that only 39% of secondary students nationwide could show you a teacher that actually cared for them. As a school, we want students to feel that they have a person for them and that it's a safe space for them to allow to be come into every day. Smaller class sizes help more than just the students, it helps the teachers also. According to Tim Walker, who has his master's in education, in elementary education, in a journal from National Education Association, published in 2019, states that teacher turnover is lowest in districts that allow offer that offer higher pay, allow for smaller class sizes, and put more effort into education. Now that we talked about why classroom sizes are too big, let's look at why classroom sizes should be limited. The average classroom size should be limited to 15 to 18 students. According to Charles Achilles, a former professor of education administration at Eastern Michigan University, from the American Association of School Administrators published in 2019, states that students of smaller class sizes obtain higher test scores, they have better behavior, and allow for connections to be made. I personally was a part of a class that was 30 students. I was a quiet one that sat in the back and you couldn't tell that I needed help. I never voiced that I need the help. So allowing for smaller class sizes, it will give the teacher ability to help all types of students. According to Sabrina Kay, who has her joint doctorate degree in works-based learning and leadership from the University of Pennsylvania in the journal from Fremont University, published in 2021, states that students in smaller classroom sizes will get more thorough assessments of their papers and work. Also, faculty will get more time to read and give them the thorough assessment that they need. First, I talked about why classroom sizes are too big. Then, I talked about why classroom sizes should be limited. The Zimbabwe Mazeppa School Board should limit the classroom sizes to 15 to 18 students. Allowing students to be taught in classroom sizes that are smaller than 22 students would allow for them to make personal connections with their teacher, increase their scores, and even allow them to have better behavior.